Concord has a long history of being revolutionary and that continues in our sustainability efforts. A lot of the reason that people love Concord is because of the abundance of natural resources that we have and the history. And preserving that's really important to the sustainability of our community going forward. So when I think about a sustainable and resilient Concord in the future, I think about a community that's preserved our nature, preserved our history, and one in which everyone can thrive and prosper. In Concord, we're very fortunate that we have a lot of wetlands and floodplains that can help buffer the damage that we'll see from, from climate change. We've seen um, many things from tornadoes to um, extreme temperatures and extreme flooding events. We had a, a tornado in 2016 which struck in the middle of the night, uh, which was a real surprise. And it affected neighborhoods and some severe damage to some homes, uh, caused power outages and caused you know, really for a number of days and weeks uh, for us to recover from that damage. The world is subjected to extreme weather. And in New England, what that means is during the summer, we are seeing hotter temperatures, very little recharge or rainfall, and that can happen for months at a time. Many of the um, winter storm events, for example, have, um, have seemed to evolve over time. And rather than having a large impact of a 12-inch snowstorm, 20-inch snowstorm, we now have these ice events. It requires 30 to 35-hour response on each one of those. And that certainly takes a toll on our ability to respond. Preparedness is the number one thing. And water, food, a battery-powered radio, visiting websites like ready.gov, emergencykit.com, the American Red Cross website has advice for preparedness kits. Preparing for climate change is a team effort and it's gonna involve everyone in town taking action to be prepared themselves and to be prepared as a community. 